What's up y'all? I'm Ryan and this is So and So Farms. We're on our way to town right now. Uh, we're gonna meet with Matt, Shane, and Lynn. We've got an auger broke down and we've got two headers broke down. So that's what's up this morning. Gonna get the headers going. Shane has been cutting beans. Matt's been trying to cut some rice. Uh, we've got two headers and a combine down and an auger. So we got a bunch of repairs to do this morning. I've been working with my cattle a little bit. Uh, gonna catch up with these guys and get the day going. Well, we finally got some repairs made. Got the 9870 back going. We got Shane's header back going in the beans. Uh, he's using the other honeybee in the beans right now because our flex header is having some problems. We got to get somebody to do some welding on the flex header and then we should have it back in the field. Slowly but surely, we're kind of getting everything put back together. Next week, we're going to be really short-handed, so we're trying to get all this stuff figured out right now. Had a pretty big hydraulic hose blow on this 9870, so I really got to watch it. We uh, brought a pressure washer out here, a steam washer, cleaned all the oil off the best we could, but uh, we just got to really keep an eye on that because we can get some fires that way, and we don't need any fires, so... That's what we're up to, cutting some rice, watching for smoke. Shane should be uh, cutting beans right now. Lynn is trucking, hauling those over to the elevator. Matt, Matt is kind of bouncing around, fixing stuff. Uh, he's a pretty handy guy. But anyhow, we're trucking right now, we're moving. So that's what we, that's what we set out to accomplish today. levee plow tractor over there. Lynn's been doing a good job keeping up, pulling the levee plow behind us, tearing the levees down, and uh, running the humdinger. Matt's got my tarp pulled off my truck, and the uh, grain cart spotted up here. Going to move it out of the way of the truck. We are down an auger right now, so we have no way to put anything in the bins. Um, everybody's closed today. We need a bearing. So we're having that issue trying to find a bearing for that auger um, not having any luck so Matt's gonna spend a little time doing that and then uh, hopefully we can get that going so we can keep cutting rice but if we don't get the auger going our rice cutting is limited to loading this truck and that grain cart in this combine so that's not a very productive day the day is that we have uh, finally got into some really good rice I won't really say any numbers I don't like it when people do that well actually I don't care if people do that I just don't want to but uh, we needed a we needed a victory we were in some okay rice but this is a whole lot better if everything stays like this for the rest of the year uh, might be able to pay everybody back that we owe. It's uh, no, but in all seriousness, this has been a, a rough year for everybody, farm-wise. Well, everybody in the economy, everybody, you know, kind of rings true when you say we're all in this together. You know, people have their different opinions and views on farmers. Some people appreciate what we do. Some people don't care. Some people don't know, you know, it's, it's all good, but uh, I can promise you, all of us that do this, do it because, I don't know, I guess it's in your blood. My grandpa was a farmer when I was young, and I wish I could have taken over his thing, but I wasn't smart enough to think that way when I was young.
So you can kind of get an idea of what what it looks like on the combine. Down and back, get the tank full, run to the truck, empty, run to the grain cart. I don't have a guy driving the grain cart for me right now because Matt's helping work on some stuff with Shane. But uh, that's what it is, back and forth all day. Uh, we'd like to be able to stay going like that, but with everything tore up the way it is, we're spread all out. We're getting done what we can do. I mean, we're making all the progress we can, so that's what matters. So far, so good on the fire. No fire. Here in just a few minutes, I'm gonna jump out, climb up on the back of the combine, make sure nothing's getting hot or smells hot or smells like it's burning. But that's what rice harvest is, weaving in and out of the levees. Trying to, uh, trying to get back to, towards the truck before you get full. Just keep it moving. That's the important thing about fall and combines. When it's fall like this and dry, you cannot afford to have these combines sit. I'm really glad we decided to keep this uh, the second combine. Without it, well, we would have been in a pickle this year. The way we had beans and corn and rice ready all together there. Every little bit counts. But I am super happy to be in this good rice. We are looking all over the country trying to locate a bearing for this auger. With no luck. I think it's a fairly common bearing, but I try to keep from boring you guys. Once I uh, jump on a different job, I'll click you back on. I'm horrible about not filming every little job. I've been to two or three places this morning, getting parts, fixing parts, getting repairs made. I got a hydraulic hose made at a shop down the road. I took a part and put back on the header of our neighbor's header that we borrowed. Uh, and I didn't click the camera on for any of it. I get in too big of a hurry and forget that there are people that need to know what I'm doing. Well, we have filled everything up. Cut all the rice we can cut for the storage that we have, trucks and grain carts. Uh, we've got a couple levees I can knock down here. probably do that and then uh, go get a torch and start burning <coughs> we have uh, probably 80 acres I can go ahead and get burned so we'll jump on the levee plow here start uh, tearing some levees down we have a couple leads on a bearing for the auger <coughs> nothing solid yet but the search continues. Hopefully the 8420 starts. Gotcha. So, 8420 didn't start. We've been having some problems. I don't... We checked the battery and they're not bad. It's got a draw somewhere be a good winter project because it really gets old having to jump it every day it doesn't have to charge very long you just hook the cables up and it usually starts right up Well, I'm job hopping again. I got caught up with the combine and augers aren't working. Shane's cutting beans. We've been disking some ground, but I need to burn some, so that's what we're doing right now. It's 
Ryan here with an update. Field is burning off pretty slick. Um, I know we get a lot of criticism from people for burning fields, but I don't think they understand the importance of timing in farming. And the less of this vegetation we have to contend with in the spring, the better crops we can make. And it's not just about profitability. Um, uh, the world kind of depends on us to produce enough food. So anyhow, it is necessary for us to, to stay on schedule. So anybody that gets upset by the field burning, I can promise you the last thing I want to do is go out here and chase fire and smell like smoke and cough and hack. But unfortunately, it's a necessary evil and uh, we don't do it to inconvenience anybody. It's, it's strictly, strictly a part of farming practice. So um, if anybody has anything to say on that, I'm sorry. in the 8270R disc and ground now got a couple fields burnt off um, I'll show you that one's still smoldering a little bit but it is contained we do disc around the fields and uh, make sure that we back burn and all those safe practices but uh, we got a few bit fields burned I got the combine and everything as full as I can get it until we get an auger uh, bearing set the auger back up so I jumped on the 8270R with the 36 foot John Deere disc and I'm disking the rice ground that we've already burned. So that way we've got it turned under and ready to go for next spring or if it continues to be dry and we get caught up on harvest, we'll come pull a land plane. A land plane is a tool that uh, will essentially plane off the dirt. Uh, it's, I think they're 48 or 50 something feet long got a set of three blades in it and it basically just cuts and moves dirt and fills in lower spots so we'll try to pull land plane this fall if we can and that just puts us that much ahead in spring because then we can go in and spray it hip it and plant it or spray it and plant it um, depending on what crops gonna go in there so anyway we're just trying to stay ahead of the curve and always be moving and always be doing something I got about 40 acres disc. Um, I'm gonna call it a nine on that. I'm gonna make my circles, make sure all my uh, grain bins are running, all my fans are running, blowing on the rice that we got in the bin. I'm gonna check, make sure my fires are out, and I am gonna call it a day. Man, I'm ready to wrap this night up. I am back at my shop and uh, moving some stuff in for the winter. Moving my old four wheeler in from the outside. I actually broke my neck on that four-wheeler hit a tree with it one time got it all fixed but brought the can-am home I had to round up the ranger they were using it to burn fields but i wanted it to get home because some side by sides have been getting stolen around here but we are uh we are still going after it we got some rice cut today got some beans cut today it's gonna be a tough week next week we're looking for a little bit of rain. We hope we get some rain because we are going to be shorthanded. Lynn is going to be helping the guy he normally helps. Matt's got a football game one day, but even the days he's here, one guy can only do so much. Shane's going to be gone at work. I'm going to be at work. So we're just, uh, we're kind of, uh, kind of going to be, like I said, shorthanded. So hopefully we get everything done. We appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Please hit the notification bell. Keep up with the videos. Let us know if you want to see anything different. Um, we actually enjoy making content for you guys. So again, thank you so much and tune back in the next time.